Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Arjun. In our previous session, we have seen how to install C compiler in Linux. In today's session, we will see about compilation process of a C program. From our previous sessions, we got to know that after writing a C program and if we save it, it will be saved as .c file. Now, if we compile this .c file by using gcc command or by using the build button in IDE, we will get final executable file. Till now, we are assuming that there is only one program behind all this compilation process. But it's not true. In reality, when we hit a build button or build command, four different programs will come into an action. They are preprocessor, compiler, assembler and linker. The work that these four programs are doing is collectively known as compilation process. This is how final executable file will be generated from the given .c file by leaving few intermediate files in between them. As a programmer, we are not aware of these intermediate files because after compilation process, these intermediate files will be deleted. In this session, I will show you how to manually trigger all these programs individually and also we will see what those intermediate files contain. At first, we have preprocessor. Few operations such as header file inclusion, macro substitution, comment removal and conditional compilation will be done at preprocessor stage. I feel as still we are in basics, this is not the right time to go more in depth about preprocessor, compiler and linker. I make sure that I will make 3 separate videos in detail on these 3 programs at somewhere middle of this series. So by the time you will be aware of all the basic concepts. Preprocessor will take .c file as an input and will produce .i file as an output. Let us see how to invoke C preprocessor using gcc command. Before going to execute this command in your terminal, first we should create a simple hello world program. Fire up your Linux terminal and create a simple hello world program using vimeditor. If you feel tough to use vimeditor, then you can also use your windows notepad++ to do that. Open your windows file explorer and navigate to your desired drive. Here I am going to create a new folder called C tutorials. Inside this, I am going to create a simple hello world program. Click on save button to save the program. After that, flip over to your Linux terminal. Now we should need to navigate to the directory where we have saved our .c file. You can use the command cd to navigate over there. cd slash mount slash here you need to enter the drive name where you saved the c file. In my case, I have saved it in e drive. So I am entering e slash C tutorials and hit enter. Now use the command ls to check the files that are available in this directory. If you notice here, hello world.c is available. Now use the command gcc e hello world.c. With this command, we can trigger CP processor. Now see here, we are getting the output of CP processor. Now I am going to redirect all this output to a .i file. Let's see how to do that. Use the command gcc e hello world.c space redirection operator space hello world.i. This will redirect all the output of preprocessor to a .i file. Now you can use your notepad plus plus to see the output of preprocessor. Flip over to your Windows Explorer 
and right click on the file and select edit with notepad plus plus if you see here all of these extra lines were added by c preprocessor if you notice here these are the few statements which we added next the output of this preprocessor will be given to compiler to get assembly instructions as an output again in compiler we have two different stages they are analysis phase and synthesis phase use the below command to get compiler output that is .s file from .i file flip over to your terminal and enter the command gcc -s i this will produce .s file as an output use vim editor to see what this .s file contains let's open the editor by using the command vim space hello world .s now if you notice here this file contains few assembly instructions and next we have assembler stage in assembler stage it will take assembly instructions that is .s file as an input and it will produce relocatable object file as an output enter the command gcc c space hello world .s and press enter just do ls to check whether relocatable object file is generated or not if you notice here relocatable object file is generated now let's try to open this file using notepad plus plus right click on the file and select edit with notepad plus plus if you notice here these contents are not in human understandable format we'll see more in detail about relocatable object files in our further sessions and next we have linker at linker stage multiple relocatable object files are combined together and it will produce final executable file as an output use the command gcc iphone capital o space hello world dot o now we'll try to see what this file contains flip over to your windows explorer and right click on the file and click on edit with notepad plus plus if you notice here the contents in this file are not in human readable format now let's see how to execute this executable file just enter dot slash a dot out here a dot out is the name of executable file and dot slash will specify the a dot out is in current directory if you see here hello world message is printed onto the screen to prevent the deletion of all intermediate files during the compilation process we can use the command gcc iphone save iphone temps space hello world dot c with this command we can retain all intermediate files after the compilation process let's see how to do that flip over to your terminal now i am checking whether any intermediate files is available or not just do ls if you notice here all the intermediate files are available now i am gonna delete few of the intermediate files use rm command to do that now if you see all intermediate files are deleted now enter the command gcc iphone save iphone temps space hello world dot c now if you notice here all the intermediate files were generated using the single command so finally we have seen what are the different stages that are involved in compilation process and what are the intermediate files that are generated in each and every phase that's all for this session in our next session we'll discuss about keywords and identifiers in c thank you for listening see you later in next session